I'm Heather Riley, and I lead Deloitte's defense, security, and justice sector. War World is centered around trust, whether it's trusting corporations, trusting government, or even trust as each other as citizens. Uh, the speed of technology and science matters in the world world because wars are going to be fought differently. It's no longer just going to be battles on a field. It's going to be about cyber. It's going to be about AI and mis and disinformation. And at the heart of war world is uncertainty. The best version of war world is peace, a world where there is no uncertainty around whether we're able to care for ourselves as humans, where we trust our government, we trust our, the companies that surround us, we believe that everyone's doing things that align with the values that are important to us, and people can just live and provide in a way that they're comfortable, and they're, that means it's equitable. Dystopia is a world in which people are, feel unsafe. They're uncertain who they can trust. Uh, they worry about how they provide for themselves and people become very self-focused, whether that's tribally focused, nationalistically focused, and there's definitely a us versus them. It's no longer gonna be a place where war is government to government. Companies are gonna have to have defense leaders. Uh, citizens are gonna have to know how to protect themselves either from cyber type attacks or um, whether there's some type of autonomous fighters that could hit you at any point in time. If companies want to take things into the utopian future, they should really be aware of how their company is impacting the world socially, um, economically. They should have a process by which they're managing their social responsibility. Companies are going to be under attack more so than ever. So how do they defend themselves, their data, their customers? from the likelihood that they will be attacked, not just from people trying to steal their IP, but people trying to be really disruptive for the services that they're offering, especially if it's technology-based services that a lot of citizens rely on. Companies also have to be prepared to defend themselves in ways they haven't had to defend themselves previously. And if they are hacked, or if a power grid goes down, or an energy company can't produce energy, recognizing what that impact will be and being prepared to react in various scenarios. So scenario planning becomes more critical than ever in a war world.